Today is Saturday, 23rd, 11.58 a.m. Uh, I was supposed to hang out with Elias today, but he was out with the girl last night and uh, unfortunately hasn't answered the phone since then, so I have to make up my own plans. Uh, so I'm thinking about going to this park that's kind of like um, Century Park uh, in New York City, but in Taipei. So I was just going to take you along. Next, I hopped onto the MRT and head over to the Don Park station. And I saw a couple interesting things walking to the park, like this tree being held up by a metal post and this skinny ass white bird. Never seen one of those in the States. Then I found this little stagnant pond surrounded by these exercise bikes and thought I'd try it out. It's an, it's an exercise bike. And you spin the pedals. And it's a spray water. It's like a whole workout. It's actually pretty easy though. Note to self, that water smells like ass. It's disgusting. Let me show you. You know, Elias may not be here, but I found a amphitheater, and there's no one around. There is a dude in the park that's watching me do this. But what better way to get over your own fears? Anyways. So Elias did wake up, and turns out he was next door all along. And I need to show you where he uh, where he lives because it's actually really close. It's literally next door. It's my apartment building and then his apartment building. But the park is okay. It's definitely not Central Park. Um, it's cool. I think I think I'm gonna go home and I'm gonna overlay the maps of this park, Don Park, and Central Park. And I think Central Park is probably way bigger. I walked this like w this one from one side to the other in like 15 minutes, and it's not that wide either. But yeah, overall, pretty cool. I cut off my monologue early because it turns out Elias didn't pass away, and he met up with me at the MRT station. Neither of us had eaten yet, so we hopped back on the train to Dongmen and got some food at a popular Taiwanese restaurant. Not too far away back at the park, there was a flower market Elias wanted to go to. He mentioned he wanted some plants to liven up his apartment and he even convinced me to get a couple, but I managed to leave them with him since I have a tendency to kill my plants. Now, more than a month later, he killed it anyways. Next up, we met up with his friend Deanne and went on a hike. We saw this gigantic spider at the top. The camera didn't do it justice. We timed it perfectly and got to see the sun setting with the famous Taipei 101 tower in the distance. On our way down, we ran into this cat with no owner around, and it seemed like it was going to be our guide down the mountain. We grabbed food at this Japanese restaurant, and we tried brown sugar cream cheese for the first time. That was the end to our Saturday. The next day we went to the National Palace Museum and Dan was free so she came with us too. The most notable thing was this rock that looked like a piece of meat everyone was taking photos of. Later that night we hit one of the busiest night markets, Rauha Night Market. I saw online that I had to try out these pepper buns so I had to get one. I watched the cooks slap the uncooked buns in the oven walls. I took my bite when it cooled down and I have to say personally it was okay. The bun was crunchy and filled with pepper pork but I wouldn't say it blew me away. Deanne was craving this banana filled crepe so we watched this man make them which was a pretty relaxing time and ate one. We also had to try this Taiwan tempura stand, and this was definitely worth the money. Crunchy and packed with flavor. Next up, we got some rice noodle wraps for Elias' gluten-free ass, which were pretty good.
we finish off the night with a nice bowl of dohua, which is silken tofu. My fat ass smelled these baked pineapple buns and I couldn't pass it over. Turns out my nose was right because it was the best baked bun I've ever had. We had to end our night, so after this pineapple bun was devoured, we went to a bar and I only had one drink. Then, this being my second week in Taiwan, I had the energy to wake up early on Monday and meet up with Elias and Dian at Dongmen. I had to try this mango shaved ice place where there were a bunch of people. And then we went to this cat cafe with cute cats and jiggly foam lattes in the shape of cats. And that's the end to my second week in Taiwan.